10 quick and simple ways to update your wardrobe this spring. Ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Through my channel, Busby Style, my goal is to help women just like you who are busy juggling life look like you have your act together, even if you don't. Today, I'm really excited to share this video with you all. It's 10 ways to quickly and simply update your wardrobe this spring, featuring mostly accessories. These are accessories that are pretty easy to add to your wardrobe and will definitely transform a look. It will also add some freshness to your wardrobe, so if you're looking for things just to inject a little bit of excitement into your wardrobe this spring, this is the video for you. So there are 10 of them and I'm gonna just dive right in. The first one I wanna talk about are hair bands or hair accessories. So lately, just in the last couple of years, I've seen this resurgence of headbands and turbans. So an example is one that I featured recently in my spring lookbook video. This is a headband and it has a little twist detailing at the top. It's also in a floral print. I bought the same one in black and I bought it also in white. I really like the way this looks. I think it can add some just like a cool factor to your outfit that says I'm not afraid to try new things. It's not crazy though, you know, it feels attainable and it feels comfortable and realistic for most women. I think you gotta have like a corresponding outfit that's pretty cool. Like you can see in my spring lookbook video, I showed two ways to style these but it just definitely adds this interesting, different look to your outfit that I don't think you're gonna see everybody wearing and it makes you stand out. So I think that's a really simple way you can add a lot of excitement to your look is to add a hairband or a turban if you're feeling really brave. I mean, I think they're really chic and I think some women look phenomenal in them. I'm not sure I could go full turban, but maybe you can. Maybe you could pull off full turban. If you can, I wanna see a picture. Send me a picture. <laughs> The next thing that can really easily add some excitement to your wardrobe this spring is a handbag. And picking a handbag in either an unusual color, not unusual, but more modern color or shape. So here's an example of a small canvas bag that's both. It's the round shape that's very modern and popular at the moment. It's also in the color of the season, which is lavender. This is canvas, so yes, it probably will pick up dirt a little bit quicker than traditional leather or faux leather but I think it's a really sweet, pretty bag. It's a nice size. And again, I think it's gonna add some excitement into your wardrobe. I'd wear it with whites, I'd wear it with blues, I'd wear it with pinks. So that's an example of a fun little bag, not gonna break the bank, add some excitement to your wardrobe. The next thing I wanna talk about is the belt. And the belt is definitely having a moment. Not everybody can wear a belt. You know, if you're really trying to conceal a tummy, a belt's probably not such a good idea or you can cheat it down and wear it lower on your hips. But the belt is definitely in. That's a really simple way to add some just polish and interest to your look. I picked up this belt, which you guys may remember from the spring fashion trend video. It's an Obi belt that you tie and wrap around. I really love it. It's affordable. It's really cute. Here's another peek at the way I styled it in the spring lookbook video. So a belt definitely, again, adds a little bit of polish, highlights a waist or creates a waist if you don't really have one. It does a lot for your look. Very simple, very easy, very affordable unless you get the really high-end ones and then they're a lot more expensive. But if you are gonna get a higher-end belt, I would suggest a reversible one so you get two for the price of one. Sunglasses. Sunglasses are a cinch, you know? you can easily buy sunglasses to update your look. So right now there's a lot of mirrored lenses, still aviators going strong, oversized still going strong. There's these really weird like cat shape frames that are big right now and they're teeny, teeny, tiny. I don't think I can do that frame shape, but maybe you want to. Another thing I'm seeing a lot of are white frames. So white frames might be a nice fresh approach to your spring wardrobe. I got these from Henry Bendel. They're um, large kind of square shape with a champagne colored frame they're mirrored so it's just a little bit different it's a little bit funkier a little bit more modern again it's a very simple way just to add some excitement to your wardrobe this spring statement 
diamond earrings are another big trend happening, have been happening for years. Like I can't even remember when, no, I can remember when this trend started because I did a story at CVS in New York where I talked about chandelier earrings being a trend. That was a very, very long time ago. We're talking like 2003. It's still going and they keep going and going. So, you know, statement earrings will definitely add a lot of impact. Here's an example of a pair of statement earrings that I'm wearing. Here's another pair I styled these fairly recently on the blog with a pink blazer. This pair I'm loving too, they're black with some rose gold accents. I love a black and gold combination just for evening or if you're going out to dinner and you wanna dress up a little bit. So earrings, affordable, easy. So it's, it's a great way to inject some freshness into your wardrobe. The next accessory I wanna talk about is the skinny scarf. Then you'll sign. Wax on, wax off, paint the fence. Anyway, I did a video showing you different ways to style the skinny scarf. It's a video I'm really proud of. It's barely been viewed. I have no idea why. I think it's terrific, and I hope you guys will check it out. But anyway, it's all the ways that you can wear the skinny scarf as an accessory. So definitely check that out. Skinny scarf, very affordable, very easy. Definitely adds a lot of excitement to your look. The next thing I wanna talk about is a necklace. A statement necklace can definitely give you a lot of bang for your buck. This is a necklace I've featured a few times. I've just basically worn it and you all have asked about it over and over again and a lot of you have purchased it. A simple circle necklace by Kenneth J. Lane, but it's really cool, it's really interesting, and it's bold enough to add impact. Here's another one that I've had for years. It's by Stella and Dot. It's so gorgeous, and this necklace has been a heavy hitter for me. Every time I wanna look really swanky and nice, I feel like this necklace just adds so much. The next thing I wanna talk about are sexy shoes. Sexy shoes can definitely elevate your look. They definitely add some excitement to your look. Here's a pair I featured recently on my spring lookbook video. I styled it there with a dress. I also featured them on the blog with some white jeans and they look really great with white jeans. I also wanted to show you these pumps. I love these pumps so much and I think they're gonna be a huge heavy hitter for me for spring. Talk about adding some excitement to your look but still looking very classic, chic, and sophisticated. These pumps are awesome. I featured them also on the blog, wearing just classic dark wash jeans and a black blazer. And that's the thing, you know, when you have an accessory that's a standout piece, like something in a print or a stripe, you don't need to go overboard with everything else. You can keep everything else really quiet and neutral, wear the classics, but just add that statement piece to really whoop, take that look up a notch. Another pair of shoes I wanna talk about is the mule. The mule really having a moment, the mule or the slide. The mule can be closed toe and then the slide open toe. And these are comfortable. They're always a manageable heel. They're like usually a chunky heel. These are flats. And that's a simple way to add a modern touch to your spring wardrobe is to add a mule or a slide. And that will just take, again, take your look up a notch. The last accessory I wanna talk about that definitely adds a lot of interest to your look and elevates your look is a hat. And there are so many different kinds right now that are cool. You can do the Panama hat like this one. This is one that I got from Nordstrom. Here's a Panama hat that's from Henry Bendel that's packable and adjustable. And then you could also go the route of a beret, which might be a little bit heavy for the season, but if you get a thin one, you can make it work, or the newsboy cap. And here's one that I thought was really fun from Shopbop. See the rope detailing, so it has sort of a nautical feel to it. These are really cool to wear like in a city, you know, you just wanna look a little bit more hip and cool and modern. This hat's really fun. I've always liked a newsboy cap. I'm feeling like I might be on the cusp of not being able to wear them due to my age, but you know, I'm still gonna wear them. And I'll just throw on some sunglasses, I think. Nah, maybe not. Maybe I'll just wear it and own it and be fine with it. Yep. 
that's that's what we're gonna do, right? <laughs> anyway, those are some of the accessories you can invest in this spring that will quickly and simply add some excitement to your spring wardrobe. With any statement pieces, you wanna keep your look mostly neutral and quiet, and then you can add the excitement with your statement piece. Okay, guys, as always, I'll put all the links below. I will do a blog to correspond with this video. Do let me know if you have any questions. Of course, you can always comment below. If you have any other video topic ideas you'd like to share with me, please share them. I love those. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up to the video. Of course, subscribe to the newsletter over on my website, lesbystyle.com. Get those two free wardrobe basics checklists. I am on Pinterest and Instagram. If you guys are interested, Busby Style both places. Thanks again to all of you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.